Howdy Warriors, welcome back. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Brenda Bustillos, U.S. Army TRADOC Command Dietitian. In this video, we're going to spend just a few minutes breaking down the facts about fats. Carbs, protein, and fats are the nutrients or macronutrients your body needs in large amounts for energy. Macronutrients are essential to everyday fueling at work, at home, and during training. As discussed in the other videos in this series, you might need different amounts of macronutrients depending on your age, sex, activity, training and weight goals, operational requirements, lifestyle, and health. The right mix of fats, carbohydrates, and protein can help optimize your performance, readiness, and well-being. If you remember our performance power plate, the healthful fats are essential to optimal health and performance. Now, let's chew the fat. Fat is a highly concentrated source of energy, providing nine calories per gram, compared with carbohydrates and protein, which both provide four calories per gram. A certain amount of fat is necessary to ensure a sufficient energy and nutrient intake. Cholesterol, oils, butter, and margarine are all fats or lipids, but each has slightly different characteristics. It used to be that all types of dietary fat got a bad rap. Now there are countless news stories touting the benefits of fat. So what's true about dietary fat? The effects of different fats on health varies, and some fats have shown to have positive health benefits. Just as with carbohydrates and protein, not all fats are the same. Following a nutrient-dense eating plan doesn't mean cutting out all the fat, just focusing on healthier varieties. So to get started, begin by making small changes. A general goal is for 20 to 35% of your total daily calories to come from healthful fats, such as polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats, and fewer than 10% of calories per day from saturated fats. Now, saturated fats are most prevalent in fats of animal origin, but they're also in palm kernel oil and in coconut oil. Saturated fats and trans fats, which are found in animal and dairy fats, and they're partially hydrogenated fats, that's why we call them trans fats, they're transformed fats. Those are associated with higher cholesterol levels and increased risk for cardiovascular disease, so they should be minimized when possible. This is most easily achieved by reducing the consumption of animal fats, processed meats, even chocolate candies, which are often high in saturated tropical oils, fried foods, ultra-processed foods, and high-fat dairy products. Most people would do well to reduce the total intake of fats and, of the fats consumed, have a greater proportion of mono and polyunsaturated fatty acids. So let's talk about monounsaturated fats. These healthful fats help to increase HDL, or the good cholesterol. So just think of H and HDL as happy. These fats come from both meat fat and plant oils. Swapping out monounsaturated or polyunsaturated fats, such as vegetable oils, for saturated fats, such as butter or lard, may help reduce cholesterol in the body and protect your heart. Cholesterol is a waxy substance that can build up and clog the blood vessels. The narrowed or blocked blood vessels can increase your risk for heart attack or stroke. So what do you eat? Let's talk about some options here. Nuts, right? In addition to heart healthy fats, nuts such as peanuts and most tree nuts like you see here and their butters are a good source of protein, dietary fiber and a variety of vitamins and minerals. Just keep portion control in check and keep in mind you might want to choose some unsalted forms. One portion of nuts is equal to about one ounce and is approximately 160 to 180 calories. Enjoy a small handful of nuts instead of chips or other fried snacks. Now let's talk about oils. Use oils such as olive oil and canola oil, I have canola here, in place of solid fats like butter and coconut oil that you see here. Now, if a fat looks like this, where it's solid on the outside of your body, just imagine what it would look like on the inside. 
Use oil and salad dressing and use it to saute vegetables, seafood, poultry, meat, or tofu. Now let's talk about avocado. Avocados not only contain monounsaturated fat, but they're also packed with dietary fiber, potassium, and vitamins such as folate, and vitamins B6, C, and E. Try adding some avocado to salad, pizza, soup, add it with salsa or eggs and sandwiches. I personally enjoy fresh avocado on wheat toast for breakfast. Let's talk about peanut butter. Nearly half the fat in peanut butter is monounsaturated fat. I will tell you, resist the urge to pour off all of this heart healthy oil that you see that's on top of your peanut butter because this oil does separate out for your natural peanut butters. Just mix it on in. That's some good fat there sitting on the top. Now let's talk about polyunsaturated fats. These healthful fats, they're found primarily in plant oils, work with monounsaturated fats to reduce LDL or the bad cholesterol. So just think of the L and LDL as lousy. You may have heard of omega-3 fats. These are a type of polyunsaturated fats that may offer health benefits. Some of the health benefits of omega-3s include promoting normal functions of the brain and nervous system, lowering cholesterol levels and supporting heart health, protecting against dry eye disease, reducing inflammation in the body. There are different types of omega-3 fatty acids. Much of the research about human health has focused on three specific omega-3s. Their scientific names, which can be tongue twisters, so I'm just gonna stick with the acronyms, can relate to chemical structures. There's ALA, DHA, and EPA. The body cannot make omega-3 fatty acids, thus you must get them through the foods you eat. Some foods and beverages are also fortified with omega-3s. For example, eggs, milk, and soy drinks may be fortified with omega-3s. It is important to get those omegas from the foods you eat. Some people may benefit from a supplement, but be sure to discuss it first with a healthcare provider. So you wanna get more polyunsaturated fats and omega-3s? Let's talk about what to eat. First, plant oils. Choose plant oils such as soybean, corn, safflower, or sunflower oils. Again, use these oils in place of more solid fats such as butter or coconut oil. For fatty fish, include fish that is high in polyunsaturated omega-3 fats at least twice per week. For example, salmon, also herring, sardines, lake trout, and Atlantic or Pacific mackerel. Walnuts. Walnuts are a plant-based source of omega-3 fatty acids, and you can add these to cereals, salads, or muffins. You can even try walnut oil in salad dressings and sautés. Flaxseed. Now, your body cannot break down whole flax seeds to access that omega-3 oil. So to get the health benefits, select ground flaxseed. You can add it to breakfast cereal, yogurt, smoothies, baked goods, including breads and muffins, or mixed dishes and casseroles. Chia seeds. These small seeds are packed with nutrients. In addition to omega-3s, they contain protein, dietary fiber, and vitamins and minerals. Toss them in your cereal, your salads, or even your baked goods. To sum it all up, select foods with monounsaturated or polyunsaturated fats instead of foods high in saturated and trans fats to improve your performance, your health, and your family's health. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics website has an assortment of nutritious recipes with ideas on how you can incorporate healthful fats, including options for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, as well as plenty of snack options and even some treats for your sweet tooth. Visit the website at eatright.org or watch more helpful videos at hprc-online.org. Did you enjoy this video? Then don't stop here. If you want to get the most out of your nutrition, then tune into our next video in the series. Until then, I wish you health, happiness, and high performance.